Hi, Vogue. Hi, Vogue. No, no. Hi, Vogue. <laughs> Hi, Vogue. Why do I say it like that? What's up, Vogue? How you doing? <laughs> hey, Vogue, how y'all doing? We all know this ain't Vogue. It's my dream to be on Vogue's beauty secrets, okay? I love watching them, right? But today I thought I would do that kind of aesthetic type video, you know what I'm saying? So, we're channeling Vogue. You're Vogue, okay? Okay. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to shine like the top of the motherfucking Chrysler building with your skincare. And just get a like mesmerizing natural makeup look today. I like to keep it simple, easy, one, two. Now in the morning, I do not wash my face because I did it the night before. And washing my face in the morning and the night just does not work for my skin. So all I do is just splash a little water on my face. Just splash a little water on my face. Let my skin soak that in. And first, I like to go in with the Cosrx, Cosrx Snail Mucin. I love this. Clearly, it's almost out. As it's half my products that I own. Come on, girl. Come on. Don't be shy. Put that on over my face. Ooh. Now, I'm going to take my moisturizer. Now... <laughs> Don't do this at home, kids, okay? And don't come for me either, okay? I was running low on a lot of my moisturizers that I had. So you know what I did? I combined them and put them all in this little jar right here. And I just keep filling this jar up with all the moisturizers that are going low. Don't do this, but my skin hasn't been fucked up yet since using this. And I've been using this for like two months now and I don't know what's in it, but it's been helping my skin, so don't fix what ain't broke, you know what I'm saying? What's next? What's next? We're gonna take some vitamin C serum. Like, don't ask me what any of this stuff does, because I have no idea. Yes, I just put stuff on my face and curl it today and pray it works, and most of the time it works. I'm telling you the truth. I probably should do my research on this stuff, but Mm, I'll do it later. <laughs> okay, this has been my holy grail of skincare for a hot second. And it's been getting my skin and just snatched, shiny like the top of the motherfucking Chrysler building. It's just like, this is flaxseed gel, by the way. Flaxseed gel, I made it myself, super easy to make. It's really like, help with the decoloration of my face, like, this, the sides of my face used to be a lot darker than they are now since I've been using this flaxseed gel. You don't want a lot. A little literally goes a long way. Just grab a little bit in your hand and just massage it on your face. Now this next step is super important to do with the flaxseed gel because if you don't do this, your face is gonna feel crusted, busted and you're gonna wanna take this off real quick. You're gonna grab some Vaseline, okay? Off-brand Vaseline works too, that's what I'm using. Still works, still does the same thing. Take some Vaseline, not a lot, just a little pea size-ish. This is bigger than a pea. Um, and you're just gonna put that on your face as well. And it just helps the flaxseed absorb and keep your face just shiny and dewy and, and boom. We're shining. Shining, 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 shining. Yes. And that's my skincare. Super simple, super easy. Kind of chaotic. But you get what you get. You get what you get. Okay, it's makeup time. I like to keep my makeup super simple and super easy on an everyday basis. Sometimes I don't even wear makeup half the time. But when I do wear makeup and I'm just like, you know, going out and about running errands. This is what I like to do. Let's start with eyebrows. I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. Soap Brown. For me personally, I like the fluffy boyish brow look. So that's why I do soap brows. Before anybody comes for me and be like, 
So brows are out. Well, they're in for me, okay? They're in, girl, that's not how you do that. They're in for me. One thing about me is every time I do my makeup, or even if I don't do my makeup, my eyebrows got to be done. Ever since I was younger, I always had to at least have mascara and my eyebrows done. Because if not, child. Not really. When I was younger, I used to like over wax and over pluck the crap out of my eyebrows. Like, girl, that's not cute. You know what I'm saying? But back then, then eyebrows were in and then like... As soon as I was about, like getting out of high school, everybody wanted to have thick eyebrows. Thanks, James Charles. I blame you. Now I'm just gonna take my Black Radiance um, concealer. Just conceal. Kids, please, 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 please don't pick your pimples. I know this is common sense and call it my knowledge, but your girl still does it. And it's not cute. And I'm always getting mad when I'm like filming videos and stuff and I see like, dark spots on my face and like girl that's not cute but also like in high school and stuff i never really got bad acne and i hardly got pimples so like when i do now it's just like all i want to do is pop this i just want to pop this i use two foundations because neither one are really my shade i'm not in my summer shade yet and i'm kind of out of my winter shade right now so i use the rare beauty foundation the morphe skin hint together I remember wanting to wear makeup so bad in middle school and my mom like wouldn't let me and then she finally let me wear mascara and I think a little bit of blush and it was great. When I got into middle school, like all these girls were wearing eyeliner and heavy makeup and starting to do like the cake face type look and I was like, oh my god, I just want to wear makeup but thank gosh my mom didn't let me wear a lot of makeup because girl. I would have looked hella crazy. For sure. I would have just thrown that stuff on, not knowing what the hell I'm doing. Okay. I like to rub my makeup in with my fingers. Just, I feel like it helps keep my skin looking dewy, dewy, fresh. Try not to mess up my eyebrows. So, yeah, I put way too much on my forehead every single time. I forget that I don't have that big of a freaking forehead. I really sit here and go around and look and make sure like I blend my makeup into every part of my skin super well because freaking growing up I never blended my makeup and that stuff was like cut off here cut off here and like cut off here like I never blended it into my hairline please blend your makeup in the hair your hairline because that ain't cute but I never did. And I have some fake ass friends. Like, really have some fake ass friends. Like, I'm really sitting here thinking I, my friends were so fake. Like, nobody ever told me, girl, you need to blend your makeup in. Like, my mom would be like, you need to blend this. And I'm like, okay. And I would get mad at her because I'm like, no, it's good. Girl, it wasn't good. It wasn't good. Trust me, it was not good. And we're just gonna contour. I still don't know how to contour to this day. Which is so funny because back in high school when contour was becoming a thing, I got a contour palette and decided to like take it to school and try it out. And also I did like auxiliary flags and winter garden and stuff. So obviously we had to wear makeup. And people were like, oh, you know how to contour? And I was like, oh, well, you know, I, I'm learning, you know? And they were like, oh, do it on me and i'm like girl i don't know what the hell i'm doing and i would do like the contour on them and they'd be like oh my god this is so good and i'm like why are you lying why are y'all not lying no damn well this looks hella crazy right now time to bake the face i'm gonna use the kimchi puff puff pass set and bake powder I just got this blush from Timu and it's like this very pretty orange color and I absolutely am loving it. Not too much, just a little bit, literally goes a long way. I used to start my blush from here to here, but I learned that I'm more of a cheek 
like this part of my cheek and halfway up type of blush girl now i got this highlight from timu as well it's a charlotte tilbury dupe and i love it this is one that a little bit literally goes a long way are we going are we yeah There's this like color wheel hack where if you look up your eye color on the color wheel and go opposite of your eye color, like whatever color matches will like look best on your, like with your eye color. So with brown eyes, blues and purples look good. So I love the way the purple looks. I feel like it just gives me that like very mesmerizing type eye look. So I'm going to take this purple eyeliner and I'm going to just go in. To the inner corner of my eye and then we're gonna go in to the waterline the top waterline a little bit now to help give it a little bit more oomph I'm gonna go in to my makeup palette and I'm gonna take this can you see this color right here and I'm gonna do the same exact thing that I just did And then boom, you gotta pop a color in your face, but it still is giving natural. You know what I'm saying? We're almost done. We're almost done. I don't curl my lashes just because that's not a thing for me. But I'm gonna take the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. What's so crazy is like back in high school and stuff, every time I go to Walmart, I would get a new mascara and I end up with like 13 different types of mascaras. You think I used all 13? Absolutely. Every single time I put mascara on? Absolutely. People would ask me, do you wear fake lashes? No girl, I use 13 different mascaras. Now I'm gonna take the Essence What the Fake Mascara. Hey, last step, last step, last step. New favorite of mine. I got this color, again, from Timu. It smells so good. It smells tropical. This is a lip stain. So we're gonna sit here and let it do its lip staining job. Now I'm gonna take this lip glow oil again also from timu love this color love these colors together this one smells like cucumbers and we're just gonna put her on top to top it off with a little bit more lip oil this is my dollar 25 tree lip oil don't be sleeping on dollar 25 tree this lip oil i love i love it i love it And there you go, Vogue. This is my natural mesmerizing look. Just look in my eyes. You looking? You looking? What's cooking? Good looking? Ew, I hated that. I really don't know what I'm doing half the time. I'm constantly saying that because I don't know what I'm doing. I just throw something on, pray it looks good and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? But this is the look. Are we going anywhere today? Absolutely not. So we're just gonna chill in the house looking good as fuck. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Vogue, for letting me do this. And I will catch y'all next time. Bye. Ew, okay, bye y'all. <laughs>